Hey guys, good morning. It is 7.44 a.m. And today I probably picked the worst day to film because it sounds like a Category 2 hurricane outside my door. And it is dark. So I don't know how I'm going to film in the car. We'll have to figure it out. But check out the weather right now. Turn this light off. It's dark. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> but I'm going to do my best to film. Um, so we got to get going here and get Marky off to school. And then I think I'm just, I'm going to hit up the gym. Yeah, that's what we're going to go do. Well, it's really raining and dark, but I just kind of set my camera on the dash. So I should be able to film. I just don't know about how lighting is going to work. That's the only issue. Because I'm not driving and holding the camera. I'm just, um, lighting's the issue. But we'll see. Going to get the kids in the car because we got to get Marky to school. It is 8.06 and we're just a few minutes late to Marky's school. The kids... All three of them are in the back watching All Dogs Go to Heaven, the original, like when I was a kid, All Dogs Go to Heaven. I like putting those old Disney movies on for them because I like them. And I like them. Okay, so while we are going to school, let me just tell you a little story about intuition and why people should follow their intuition. Okay, so in bed the other night and this weird feeling came over me to check under my covers just you know like you get that like feeling in your gut or like that little voice in your head that tells you to do something and it's not something that always happens I'm never one to, to like check my sheets before I go to bed I know People, people do that, you know, because who knows, bugs and stuff, right? Or whatever, snakes, I don't know, wherever you live. Um, so, uh, I, I had that weird feeling, and I was like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll check. So I kind of just lifted the covers up, and nonchalantly, well, didn't see anything. Didn't really think anything of it after that. The next morning, okay, when I went to make the bed I usually like take the sheets off fluff them out and then make the bed I took the comforter off and underneath it was a giant black creepy crawly demon spider I mean it was so creepy like what you see in like cartoon Halloween movies creepy like the long black thin legs I screamed so loud and I was in the bedroom and the door was closed and my husband you know his reaction was from the living room oh did you see a little bug like seriously that's what he yelled at me and I was like no get in here there's a freaking giant demon spider so he killed it I don't know I felt bad that he killed it but I think it could have been poisonous I don't know I, I, I didn't look I didn't look under the underbelly to see if it was a black widow I mean we have black widows here I've seen I've seen black widows here but um I didn't look underneath it he squished it I do feel bad that we killed it because it would have been it would have been better to just catch and release but that scared the everything out of me so if you ever get the feeling that says hey ch check under your covers really check under your covers I mean oh my god I, I don't know if that thing was sleeping with me that night or what but that freaks me out it's Chloe, are you singing? She's singing. She's so cute. Mommy, it's the dirt thing, the Poland. Oh, okay. 
hiking some. It's not going up, but it's not big enough. I have like a freaky, creepy, scary cockroach story too. <sighs> but I'll probably like start getting heart palpitations and like anxiety talking about it. Oh, it's just like the worst thing that ever happened to me with a cockroach. Oh, I don't even want to talk about it. Um, but okay, so we already dropped off Marky at school and we're headed to the gym. <clears throat> it's gym time. So the kids can play. What time is it? 8.30. 8.30 to the gym. The gym is so crowded too at 8.30. But I think I'm going to tan because um, if you guys have ever heard of SAD, I mean, if you go to school and you take psychology or intro to psych, I'm sh they talk about SAD, S-A-D, Seasonal Affective Disorder. And I tend to start feeling that around February. It's January though, so it's kicking in a little early, but we did get like this crazy deep freeze weather in the US. So it's been a lot colder here than normal. Um, I, know, I know the dangers of tanning. Believe me, I used to work in a tanning salon and I am a licensed esthetician. I know all about the dangers. Um, I know about the risks. So, you know, I'm going to do it how I feel it's appropriate for me to do it. But it's more, honestly to me, it's it's more than just getting color to my skin. Because I go in there and, like, I don't tan my feet because I have tattoos on one of them. I have a lot of tattoos on one of my feet, so, and I don't want them to fade. And I, I have, I put my sunscreen on with my makeup on my face because I don't want my face to burn. So I, I just like to feel the heat and the, just the effect that the lamps have on my brain and feels better. It's, it's more of a mental psyche thing than it is I need to get tan because I wear more clothes in the tanning bed than I don't wear clothes. So. You just shut up again. Shut up. They said shut up on that show. <sighs> That's not good. All dogs go to heaven, right? Shut up. Shut up is not a nice word. Right? We don't say shut yeah. up. You say hush or be quiet, please. Yeah, right. They don't ever say that. But yeah, so um, that seasonal affective yeah. disorder, sad, that's a real thing. Yeah. I, I grow, go through it, kind of going yeah. through it early this yeah. this winter season. But it's okay. I I'm going to get my therapy on for it. And today is like the perfect day to tan because it is raining, it's cold, and it is overcast. Like you couldn't get any more depressing it is so cold really the car says it's 44 degrees outside yeah that's probably not that cold but to me it's that cold mommy let's go okay we're going hold on one second I'm trying to warm up um so i tanned it's over mommy and you know tanning tip if you color your hair blonde, you uh, need to wrap your hair up and protect it because your hair will turn green just like the chlorine in pools can turn blonde hair green. The same is true for tanning beds. But I feel better. I needed that dose, the artificial vitamin D dose. Now I'm going to go home and... and uh, take a supplement of mommy, vitamin D and calcium mommy, yeah it's all for okay you have to wait till it finishes completely to press play because I don't know how to work this DVD player in this car and uh, and restart mommy. it without it starting I don't know wait till the credits are done I don't know how to get past the credits to make it start over again 
so whatever. They have to kind of sit through the credits. But all right, so you guys ready to go home? We're gonna go home now and it's it's 9.48, so we're gonna go home now and see what there is to do. Hey, my waffle! Coco! Where's my waffle? They're on the counter. The counter. So I don't know if your dogs are like my dog. I think all dogs are the same. When it rains, they just don't want to go outside. Right, Coco? Oh, you hear that crazy noise she's doing? That's like a thing that papillons do. It sounds like they're choking, but they're just like, I don't know, coughing. <laughs> it sounds crazy. But I have to put a puppy pad down for her because she will not go outside when it's raining. And I'd rather her not get muddy anyway. So just pee on your pad. All right. You guys ready for some lunch? Yeah. Hey, Chloe. You're so cute. You better sit down, girl. You better sit down. Oh, okay. You gotta work on that. Can you shoot me? Yeah. All right, it's 10-10 10, 10, and I am about to get on the ball with some housework chores. Um, Chloe just put her down for an early nap. And let's see, definitely have laundry to do, like always, right? And um, what else? Oh, my cast iron pans, cooking pans. I need to season those because they're looking a little, some of them are looking a little rough. Let's see. Well, that one looks okay. But like this one, you when you need to season them, you can tell they have like almost like a dingy look to them. And I only cook with cast iron, um, and this effort is heavy. Let me tell you, you like kill somebody with this pan, knock them out. But um, I only cook with cast iron because it's the safest way to cook food. Um, even stainless steel isn't completely stainless steel. There is there is nickel in it, and I'm allergic to nickel. So why the hell would I cook with something that has nickel in it? So when they say stainless steel, it's not um, true stainless steel. Cookware is so unbelievably expensive. It's, it's crazy. <clears throat> I don't know if I'll ever be able to afford that in my lifetime. But cast iron is the next best thing. And the only thing is like it can sometimes like leak iron um, into your food. But dude, I'm kind of iron deficient anyway, so it's not like a health issue. If you did have issues with iron, like if you're allergic to it for some crazy reason, or you have a medical condition with it, then yeah, don't cook with cast iron. But that's what I cook with. And you have to season it like, I don't know, whenever it starts looking... Crazy. So I'll probably have to do that. That's a process. And then laundry, like I said. And make beds. Let me go start making beds now and get that out of the way. And then we will see what else there is to do. Have you guys seen The Equalizer? That is such a good movie. It um has Denzel Washington in it and he kicks butt. So I'm about to eat my lunch and here are my vitamins. C, biotin, and milk thistle that's actually a supplement and then the calcium and omega-3 already took with water you don't really want to take those vitamins with food I don't know if you knew that but some vitamins you don't take with food and some you do take with food it just helps them to absorb better and yeah so I'm gonna eat my lunch and Take some vitamins. There goes the laundry like every day. Spinning, spinning, spinning. All right, so another crazy story for you guys. How about Big Marcus just calls me 
and he almost got hit by lightning because it is crazy weather outside. He was in his car, parked, and all of a sudden he saw a big just flash of white just completely engulf him and then the car radio started going all crazy and haywire and he was parked right in front of a, a telephone pole and the lightning hit the telephone pole. That's just, wow. Good thing it didn't hit the car. Even though I'm pretty sure he would have been safe because the car has rubber tires, but I don't know, does lightning like F up your car for forever if it hits it? I don't know. Kingston, what are you doing? Yeah? I'm going to Play your gun. And what's Scooby Doo? Scooby Doo Phantom. Phantom? Dude, I never watched Scooby Doo and I don't know why because Scooby Doo is so paranormal. I was like right up my alley as a kid, but I had no clue about Scooby Doo. So I watch it now with the kids. I love it. Chloe, whose shoes are those? Those are not your shoes, girl. You sound like a big old man coming down. <laughs> down the stairs or something. I am so tired. I don't know why. I'm like sleepy, kind of tired. So we're gonna go get coffee before we pick up Marky. It's like 1.30. 1.30-ish. All right, I got some coffee in me and we are about to have a Nerf war. Right, Kingston? Yeah. Me and you, we're going yeah. down. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Did I get you? <laughs> Give me that. Come here, come here. You gotta run. You gotta run, you can't just sit there. I'm gonna shoot you. Don't throw that at me. Oh, my gun jam. You're lucky. Hey, Kingston. You want a cookie? Cookie. Come here. Mommy, I want cookies. I got you. <laughs> You're down. <laughs> Go Chloe, go Chloe, go, go, go Chloe, go Chloe, go, go, go girl, go girl. You're so cute. Chloe, dance. Go girl, yeah, dance, dance, dance. Love you. <laughs> Is that funny? Yeah.